Hello guys, let's learn with this tutorial how to solve the 4x4 Rubik's Cube with the YAO method which can be a little bit faster than the, the, the beginner's method especially during the edge pairing phase which is really time consuming in the 4x4 to pair all the edges so first we make the two centers the yellow and white center so let's start by doing that This is like the other method, but instead of making all the centers, we will make only uh, these two centers, the white and the yellow. So once you have these two, put the white facing left, and we'll start by pairing three white edges. Okay, so here you have to remember the color scheme. So, for example, uh, you know that if you have the white here, like this, you will have blue red, green and orange, okay? So let's start with the blue. So I have here one white and blue. Let's find the other one, it's here. So they are in the same layer. Let's put this in this layer to be in different layers. So just turn it twice like this. Slice it to join them together and bring these here to join with the yellow, the white center. So we have the blue done. Let's go to for the next one, which is the red. Uh, so the red one, I have here the white and red, the other one is here, so I have to bring this over here. I can just do this because this one would move here, so I can bring this down. And instead of bringing up like this, they are in the same layer, just bring it down like this to put them in different layers, join them together. And here is the blue, so the red goes next to the blue like this and here the green is already done but facing the wrong way so let's bring it down and put it facing the right way so we have the three white edges and now with this and soft edge on top always in the top layer we will do the other the middle centers so let's start with the blue we will only move the three layers not a cube, we will always keep these on top and move these or the or the or slice, okay? So never move this one. Okay, so now we have the blue here, let's move these here, join them together and bring these up like this. I have here three. Now this one is here like an arrow, so I put these facing the, the same way. Bring this up like this. I have the blue center. Now let's go for the red center. Or again, like this arrow pointing this way. Let's put this pointing the same way. Bring it up. Okay, now the red one, the green one, sorry. I have a bar. Let's join the bars together. Okay, so I have all the centers and still this edge to solve let's solve it this is the next step so this one is here let's bring it down and the other one is here so let's bring it over like this okay they are in the same layer if they were in different layers i would just join them together and bring them up in this case they are in the same layer so let's do the flipping algorithm so slice and do the flipping algorithm. So I join them together and I can just bring it over to complete the white cross and align it with the centers, okay? So I have the white cross and all the edges aligned with the centers. Once we have this, it's the, the edge pairing. So in this case, we don't have any edges already paired. Uh, this one is paired, but it's on the top layer, so in the middle layers we don't have any edge paired. If we had any edges paired here, we would just bring them up and replace with an unsolved edge from the top layer, okay? In this case we don't, so the next step is to slice it to the left, like this. And what we want to do is to pair three edges at the same time. How? By doing this. So here I have the green and red. So I want to find the other green and red and put it here. 
So the other green and red is over here in the back. So let's bring it up with one move. And let's put it this one here uh, like this, with this move like this. So they are diagonal. The next one is the yellow and blue, which is here. Uh, but it should be here. So let's move it up and replace it. Okay, so it's down here. And the next one is uh, orange and green. So the other orange and green is back here. So in this case, if I brought this to here, I would mess with this green and red, which I had, had already placed to pair with this, because when I slice it back like this and fix the centers, I would pair this one, this one, and I would have paired the third one, but in this case it wasn't possible. So I have paired two. If it goes like usual, you can pair three at the same time. So I paired these two, so bring them up, replace with unsolved edges, and let's go and do it again. So, oh, in this case, I have these two. You see blue and orange, blue and orange in the same layer. Yellow, orange, yellow, orange, the same layer. So I can pair them together with the flipping algorithm. Slice, flipping algorithm. And I pair them. And I end up with this, um, this with this. So in this case, what you want to do is pair two at the same time again. So um, this one will pair with this one. So I can just slice, pair them and replace with an unsolved edge. But you notice that if when we slice back, this one could pair with this one. So this one is yellow and red. So when I slice it and bring it up to replace with an unsolved edge, I know that if I put this yellow and red here, okay, like this, I put the yellow red here in the down layer. When I bring it over, I also pair these two, okay? So that's how you pair more than one edge at the same time. It's way uh, faster than the original uh, beginner method that you pair one by one. It takes so long time to do. So in this case, usually you, you can pair three in the first step, then two and then three more and you end up with all of them paired. In this case, it was a little bit different. <laughs> Okay, so now that's the YAL method, uh, from now on is like solving a 3x3, three three. so let's go and solve it like one. By the way, if you don't know how to solve a 3x3 three three, but you have the 4x4, four four, just check out my other tutorial on how to solve the 4x4 four four with all the algorithms and processes you need to, to know. Okay, the first three layers, now let's solve the upper layer. So that's how you solve it. Um, that's how you solve it with YAL method. It's it, the first part, the first process of making the white cross and pairing the edges a lot easier and faster than the beginner's method. So I hope this was helpful and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.